was the Chargers battling Houston. The Chargers needed a win, but it was the Texans who had other plans. Bad day for the Chargers. Justin Herbert, a few ill-advised throws, and the Chargers defense could not stop the run. Now the Chargers are on the outside looking in to the playoffs, and next week it's Denver in L.A. We'll see what happens with the Chargers. And Drew Mahomes, the Chiefs, just, just rolling today without Travis Kelsey. Yeah, no Travis Kelsey, no problem. Guys like Hardman, Pringle, everybody <laughs> stepping up. <laughs> Over 375 yards of total offense for the Chiefs and still the number one seed in the AFC. Baltimore Ravens, another loss. Cincinnati, a lot of big plays. Speak of no problem, just wide open receivers all day. Joe Burrow was hot over 500 yards passing. Yeah, the fourth most in a game in NFL history for big play Burrow, a huge win for the Bengals. Buffalo, New England Bills come out on top. Yeah, Josh Allen is rolling today, leading rusher for his team once again and making big plays in the passing game. He was a one-man show today. Okay, so Buffalo retakes the lead in the AFC East, but check it out, seven teams are separated by just one game for the seventh seed. So the last two weeks of the season are going to be great. All right, let's take a look at the NFC. Tampa Bay taking on Carolina. 57% of the offense is missing, no problem for Brady. Just keep throwing to whoever's open. Here was Cameron Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Los Angeles Rams headed to Minnesota. Eldo Beck, Odo Beckham Jr. really getting in a groove with the Rams. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't their sharpest game. Turned the ball over a few times, but Cooper Cup had a big fourth quarter, and OBJ just continues to build chemistry with Stafford. The Eagles rolled in the second half against the Giants. Yeah, and it was passing game today, not necessarily the running game that did it. And they get the win, 34-210. That's another big man with a touchdown. That's Lane Johnson for the TD. So that's the best of Week 16. Now we find out what that means for our playoff picture. Steve Kornacki is here. Yeah, Maria, well, that Eagle win, that Viking loss, you can see it. The Eagles now moving into the top seven in the seven spot right now in the NFC, and that really is the drama when it comes to the playoffs on the NFC side. These top five teams all have clinched playoff berths, so the question is those final two wild card spots. And remember, New Orleans, they play Miami tomorrow. If New Orleans can win that game, they'd get to eight and seven. We'd have three eight and seven teams. The New Orleans probability would jump to 60%. The probability for the Niners and the Eagles would take a little bit of a hit as well. We'd have three teams tied going for the final two spots. Now, you could play it out a number of ways, and there are tiebreaker scenarios that would favor the Niners, but there's one eyed flag that would not. If all three of these teams, the Saints, the Eagles, and the Niners, win out and finish 10 and 7, three way tie at 10 and 7, the Eagles would be in. The Saints would be in, and in that scenario, the Niners would get the short end of the stick and would not be in. So that's a high probability for them, but there are some dangerous scenarios for the Niners right now. All right, appreciate it, Steve. Well, you heard them, Coach. If the Eagles went out, they make it into the playoffs, and you like the way they've been playing. Lately. I really do. I love what they're doing. They know who they are. Jalen Hurts is our quarterback. Mm -hmm. We're going to be a running football team and include running Hurts. So you have to bring that safety up to stop that run. Now we've got some young receivers who can make plays against one-on-one -on -one coverage, and they're playing good football. Yeah, the team that I'm really concerned about in the NFC is the Arizona Cardinals. You know, just a few short weeks ago, they were the number one seed. They were the team that couldn't be stopped. And then you go back to two weeks ago, they have an embarrassing loss at the Lions. They lose yesterday to the Colts. Mm -hmm. They haven't been playing well at home. We don't know what's wrong with the offense. It's a lack of execution. It's turning the ball over. So... And they're a team that it, it, it's going to be tough here down the stretch. And do they fall in their seating? But bottom line is they're probably going to have to go on the road and be playing well, which they're not doing right now. Yeah, no. And they've got Dallas next week. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they've clinched their first playoff berth since 2015, but there's still some issues to work out. Now, second half is still to come, but first, Toyota reminds you to let your style shine through in a sleek Toyota car.